So now so let's talk about how to solve for the vector R in the matrix formulation using the power iteration method. So given a web page with n nodes, where the nodes are pages and, and the edges are hyperlinks, the power iteration is actually a very simple iterative updating scheme that goes as follows. Suppose we have n web pages and, and that we are using the silver script here to index the number of iterations. We will first initialize the vector R so that it is one over n for every entry. And then we update the vector R to be n times R and we'll repeat updating this R a lot of times using this equation until what? Until the distance between RT plus one and RT is smaller than some threshold. And note that this equation is actually equivalent to this equation where we're summing up all the votes from all the inlets, which is indexed by I. Now concretely, let's say that we have this graph here and how can we use the power iteration to solve for our vector R? So this is the, this is the algorithm and this is the graph and this is the matrix M. Then concretely, we'll first initialize the vector R so that it's one over three everywhere. And then we'll just update this R using this equation iteratively. And we can see that actually gives us the same solution as the previous solution when we're solving the system of flow equations. So what exactly is this power iteration doing intuitively? And here we will give one of the interpretations for this power iteration method, which is the random walk interpretation. Let's imagine that we have a random web server. So basically this is a user who browse the web pages randomly. And let's say that at time t, this server is on some web page i. And at time t plus one, this server will follow a, an outlink from i uniformly at random. So let's say that this web page i has three outlinks, then, it, then the server will go to one of these three links randomly. Of course, and, and then basically it will end up on some web page j linked from i, right? And this process will repeat indefinitely. And let's say that this, we have this vector pt where the i coordinate is the probability that the server is at page i at time t. So for example, let's say that we have only three web pages, then p, p of one is a vector of length three. And the first entry of this vector is the probability that the server is at page one at time one. And similarly, similarly, here P2 is also a vector of length three. And this entry simply means the probability of the server uh, is at um, page one at time two. So, you can see that P T here is actually just a probability distribution over all the pages. So with this P T, where is the surface at time T plus one? And remember that this surface actually follows a link uniformly at random. Therefore we can compute the probability of this surface uh, being, at, being at page J at time T plus one using this equation. And let me explain why this equation would work. Let's say that at time t, and in this graph, at time t, we know that the probability of the surfer being at page i1 is actually p of t sub i1. And let's say that this page i1 actually has d i1 outlinks. 
So basically, this means that given this server is at at this page at time t, then the probability that this server will go to page i is actually p t sub i one over d i one, and this is similar for the for for the web page. I2 and for the web page I3, right? So basically we can sum up all the probability terms for these three inlinks, and then we can get the probability of this web server being at page J at time T plus one, which is here. And this is exactly the power iteration uh, updating rule. And let's suppose that the random wall actually reaches a state where the P of T plus one is equals to N times PT equals to PT. So basically PT plus one is actually exactly the same as PT. Then we can say that PT is actually a stationary distribution of a random world. And our original rank vector R actually satisfied that R is equal to M times R. So basically what it says is that R is actually a stationary, stationary distribution for the random walk. So this is the uh, random walk interpretation for the power iteration method that basically interprets the R, the solution R of the power iteration method as a stationary distribution for the random walk. And one interesting thing is that we have a lot of, we actually have a lot of theory on the random walk. And one central result from the theory of random walks or Markov processes is that for graphs that satisfy certain conditions, uh, which is the column stochastic that we mentioned before, if it satisfies this condition, then the stationary distribution is actually unique and it can eventually be reached no matter what the initial probability distribution at time, at time t are equals to zero is. So basically what this says is that we can actually initialize randomly in the power iteration and we can still get the correct solution.